Now we'll find the Thevenin equivalent of this circuit at the port defined by terminals PQ utilizing the classic method. The method with an open circuit test and a short circuit test. The open circuit test, of course, we can just solve this circuit and find the voltage of P with respect to Q using MNA. We did that before in the previous video. However, that time we chose Q as the reference node and ended having one equation for node 1, 2, and 3, and an evil equation, four equations all together. If we choose more carefully the reference node, we will end with fewer equations. Let's see. I have recommended you in class to choose the negative of the V source in a V branch as your reference node, like this. And then what? And then this voltage will not be an unknown anymore. The voltage there will be 18 volts. And we are left with one and two unknown nodes. The next step is to decide what are going to be the branch currents. Like this. And now we can write the two KCL equations necessary to solve this circuit. KCL1, currents going in. Equal to currents coming out of the node. KCL for node number 2, currents going into node 2. This one, currents leaving the node, this one, and that one. Two equations, two unknowns, V1, V2, we solve that and obtain V1. V1 with respect to the reference. We know VP with respect to the reference is 18 volts, and now we are about to find VQ with respect to the same reference. These are the two equations that we need to solve. The solution is V1 is 8 volts. V1, which is VQ with respect to the reference, is 8 volts. And that means that the open circuit voltage, which is VPQ, that is VP minus VQ, with respect to the same reference, that would be P is 18 volts higher than the reference, and Q is 8 volts higher than the same reference. The open circuit voltage, which is also V7, is 10 volts. First part of the exercise. Now we go for the short circuit test. In that one, we short the port PQ. Like this. And we are to determine the short circuit current this one. For a moment, let's pause and let's consider an important question. Why do I draw the short circuit current from P to Q and not from Q to P? Well, because I am trying to find the Thevenin equivalent that has this polarity. If instead I were to draw the short circuit current flowing this way, then I would be determining a V Thevenin with this polarity. Remember the lectures. Let's solve this circuit. Normally, I prefer to call the shorted node the reference node. Let me do that. We have reference here, but of course, because of the short circuit, this is also part of the same reference node. Now we are to determine this current. That is easy. That current is in a RP branch voltage of the origin, zero, the voltage of the reference, minus the voltage of the destination, zero, plus the source, 10 divided by 5, that is 2 amps. We have 2 amps here. What about this one? Well, this is given. It's 2 amps. And next, we can solve for this circuit here. If this is the reference, this voltage in this node is not known. The voltage there is negative 18 volts. I will write that. Negative 18 volts is a known voltage in that node. And then I'm left with only one unknown voltage, V1. I will determine the current, this one, this one, and write only one KCL equation. Now we solve that equation. The solution is negative 18 volts. With V1, 
we determine this current. This current is negative 18 divided by 6. This current is negative 3 amps. Negative 3 amps. We can apply a Gauss surface, KCL, over here. Current is going into the Gauss surface, 2 amps, negative 3 amps. The short circuit current, currents leaving that surface, only these 2 amps. And we solve for the short circuit current, 3 amps. R7 then is V open circuit divided by the short circuit current, 10 volts divided by 3 amps, 3.333 ohms. And this is the Thevenin equivalent of that circuit at the port PQ. Thank you very much.